What's going on workforce? Brian here and it's time that we dive back into the world of Vanadeel and talk about Final Fantasy XI. There is a great article by Dual Shockers and I'll include the link in the description below but they're talking about a big surprise for Final Fantasy XI fans all on the heels of this 20th anniversary and so I'm going to give my thoughts as well as the current state of the game uh, in this little post here. Uh, I'm really concerned this might turn into a rant, so just bear with me. But before I rant and before I go into what, what they're talking about over uh, at Dual Shockers, I want to shout out to Adam. Adam was the first person to comment on my last post, and thank you so much for doing so. Adam, thanks for being a part of the workforce and the notification squad. Uh, so if you want to be like Adam and you want <laughs> and you want to join the workforce and you want to hit that, so be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, be sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment below. Uh, we're not just taking the first comments, we're going to be taking just, uh, you know, a random comment and thanking uh, you guys and shouting you out for being a part of the workforce. And we hope to hear from you because it really is that important. So let's talk about Final Fantasy XI and what this big surprise might be and what we hope it to be because I think this is where I'm concerned that this is going to be a rant video I love Final Fantasy XI so much it is one of, it was the first MMO I ever played it's the you know I outside of 14 it was the longest MMO before Final Fantasy 14 and I just have this sense of both nostalgia and love and appreciation. I'm still subscribed and I still play the game from time to time and just not as much as I wish I could because I'm a husband, father, you know, businessman, YouTuber, you know, <laughs> like my goodness. Like if I had, if I could only have like five more days in a given day, yeah, it could definitely fit in there on a day-to-day -day basis. It is that good. And I think when they talk about a big surprise regarding the 20th anniversary, we have to carve out a couple of things here. There's the HD remaster that uh, you know has been done by fans and they are continuing to be worked on by fans and I've been playing that version. I've got also the add-ons. None of this is recommended because it's all violation of the terms. I'm just at the point where it just makes me experience so much better and I think that there is essentially a, a problem here in which that Square Enix is really letting us do this and they should be doing it themselves because they're still charging a sub for this game. So what is my sub getting me besides just keeping the servers online? Obviously they're, they're patching the game, but in such a light amount. And that's kind of what this goes into is that the, the updates going from here are gonna be lighter and lighter so they can work on this big surprise. And that's where both hopes are gonna be like up, you know, higher than possible because the only thing that I could say is Anything less than a full HD remaster brought back to consoles, like even if they could drop play online, uh, you know, it, it, that that's what I want. That's what I want. I want to see this game on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Infinity, uh, Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Uh, you know, like that's what I want. That's what I think the players deserve. I think that this game should be able to run in 4K. If you tried it in 4K, it's impossible in 4K. 4K, 4K. Now that I've lost everybody with 4K talk, my nose is itching for some reason. Anyway, that's what I think the players deserve. I think especially from a 20 year old game, this game has lags. So what is the mobile version? They announced that several years ago. Uh, Yoshi P said they'll show it off when they're ready. They, he also came out and said that the game is doing great uh, regarding the current state of Final Fantasy XI. And the only thing, and the, the thing I have with mobile is that if it's not able to run on PC and console and all this, like then why waste the time? I know that there's a big mobile market in Japan, but Fortnite changed the market. It changed the game. And regardless of whether you like Battle Royale or not, you should thank people because that is what gamers want. We want this connected world. Then you have like Stadia out there. Like It's like all of these things, all of these services, all of these ways to play these games are critical. And I think that we as gamers are going to benefit, benefit, benefit. So anything less than that, that's what they need to be working on. Now, I don't need like all the graphics and art assets just to go like nuts. I, I don't need Final Fantasy XI to be Final Fantasy XIV. I need Final Fantasy XI to be XI and live in that world and live in that in, in Vanadil. But the, the menus, the zones, like like they could put some spit and polish, like a little elbow grease into that. And I think that it could go a very, very long way. Obviously systems and framework and how it's built on the PS2 architecture, that would have to change. And if they've been working on this port for, you know, for mobile within the Unreal Engine, build that up, make that amazing, make that special, allow us to jump to that. Don't, anyway. 
<laughs> so this dual chakras article has raised a lot of feelings in me. It's really got a lot of both hope <laughs> and fear and holy crap, guys, come on. Like it's like Square Enix, you can do this thing. Uh, I think 11 can be something that you can run alongside and that is ultimately where I've been thinking the industry is going in Square Enix in general, where we see uh, like EA and Microsoft and you know, and even you know, PlayStation all having these games as a service subscription models. I, I, I could easily see Ubisoft coming out with their own and even like Square, where, where you see these big publishing firms having this subscription to their base games. And I think nothing makes more sense that not today, I mean, like, you know, sometime in, 20, in the 2020s, where they're able to offer like the Square Enix service where you're sub to 14, 11, and you get access to all of these other games that they have in their, in their vast library of games. We're seeing the same thing with Nintendo, with the Nintendo online service, but also having these games funnel in and, and even funneling out from time to time as the vault opens and, and closes. Anything short, anything short of, again, a full HD remaster, and then it's gotta come back to consoles, it's gotta come, it's gotta be supported and, and cross-platform. That, I think, is what, not, not that I want, but I think it's what we deserve as both fans of the franchise and players of this game. 20 years. I'm still subbed, I still play. It is such an experience, and the problem is, especially when you look at it, it's very difficult for a player to come into this world because they need a master, they need a Sherpa, they need somebody to show them the ropes because the game doesn't do that. And I'm not advocating that the game becomes something that it's not supposed to be. But I think essentially, when you look at the reason why we don't have a journal, I think the game is designed to sell strategy guides, you know? But now in the age of the internet, if you play 11, if you run two monitors, that's how you have to do it, or you have to have a tablet. Like it, there's always something extra, and I think that anything they can do, they can do to bring people into the game world and not having to use and play alongside the wiki just to figure out something very basic, while at the same time not breaking the community within the game itself. Not an easy task, mind you. Like you know what I'm <laughs> what I'm wanting is not an easy task. If you guys want a full list of what I would love to see in terms of quality life and adjustments to, to 11, we had a podcast with Hunting for Games and Mione, and I'll include the link in the description below as well. You can check it out if you haven't had the opportunity. It is a really good talk. It is a really good show. And then we ask a lot of like critical questions because at some point you end up breaking, uh, you could end up easily breaking what makes Final Fantasy 11 special. Guys, I'll include the link for the Discord. Uh, not the Discord. The Discord's already in the, in the thing. Uh, but for the Dual Shockers article, you guys go check it out for yourself. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. What do you think gamers deserve when it comes to Final Fantasy XI? What do you want to see when it comes to Final Fantasy XI? Um, like, go nuts. But be warned. <laughs> you know, is like a big, big surprise. Is that just like, hey, here's a new expansion. Here's a new story, etc. But it's still just PC only. It's still, like... I think more people could really enjoy the world of Anadil now more than ever, but it's going to take a little bit of work on them. And I think that they owe it to us in a way, like not in a way, that, <laughs> in a way that as customers are paying them, um, we're willing to pay. I think there's enough people who'd be willing to do it too, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm just a fan in, in this case. Um, I want to share this. That's what I want to talk about because I think it's that critically important. Uh, for work to game guys, my name is Brian. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I um, hope you guys have a terrific day. And right now I'm going to go get ready for a podcast with Larry Czar. So I hope you look forward to that content as well. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> take it easy and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.